So next up is the Silver Cross. Handicap hurdle over three miles. Nice field of 13 to face the judge. And the runners are as follows. Our top rate's going to be Wolverine, winner last time out for Darren Thompson, Rapunzel for Martin Needham, along with Velvet Curtain. Then we've got Huntsfield Club for Vinnie Gerrard, also a winner last time out. Not a bad lad for John Morgan, Pedro Hogan's Flowers for Fishiel. Alex Cherry's Glamist. Graham Clutterbuck sends two, the Press Gang and the Watcher. David Robertson's Mind Solution. Pedro Hogan's second runner, Die Another Day. Pompey King for Vinnie Gerard and Vermod for Alex Cherry. Are oh, the 13. They're going to line up here for the Silver Cross Handicap Hurdle. Flags dropped. They're already off and they're already over the first of the 13 hurdles they have to take. They start in front of the grandstand here. Reasonable pace just being set by Velvet Curtain and not a bad lad. And Martin Leadham and John Morgan. There's the winning post. They'll be trying to get there first next time. But not a bad lad and Velvet Curtain lead us into the tight left turn here. Not so bad on the hurdle course. And they've got a full length advantage from the rest. They're just being led by Press Gang with Rapunzel and Mind Solution. And the yellow silks of flowers for Fisher. He was just stuck at the back with nowhere to go. And then the Graver Mod. First of the Vinnie Gerard's horses, the Huntsville Club. And Wolverine on his outside. Back on the inside is Die Another Day. Second, Alex Cherry Runner, Glamist. And then Pompier King and the Watcher. Watching them all from the rear. So they're going to approach the second. It's not a bad lad and velvet curtain. One and two with a three length advantage from Mind Solution, Press Gang and Rapunzel all together. And a length break to Wolverine and Huntsville Club as they go over the second to that well. The curtain was a little slower over it. Still joins not a bad lad. Bit of competition for a John Morgan front runner here as they get to the third. Better jump this time by Velvet Curtain. Not a bad lad. Just drops a length back. We'll come up and join our leader, Velvet Curtain, as they get to the fourth. They both take that well. Remind Solution has moved into third now. Press Gang and Rapunzel. Huntsville Club up on the brow. Wolverine and Flowers for Fishy, which I'm sure is called something else. I read about it in the forum, so I apologise, Pedro. I haven't remembered. And then we've got the Grey, the only one in the race for Mod as we go through the trees. And his second runner, Die Another Day. Glamis the Watcher and Pompey King still at the rear as they go over the fifth. Start front, Velvet Curtain and Not a Bad Lad. They're through the first mile. These two have still got a five length advantage from Press Gang Mind Solution. Wolverine's got a little bit closer to that leading group. Flowers of Fishing, Rapunzel, Huntsville Club pushing through. The length of the modern die another day. Just see Glamis the Watcher and Pompey King at the rear as we go through the woods again. As they approach the next. Not a bad lad's going to rise first. Gets over it well from Velvet Curtain in second. Wine Solution being hurried along away from that seventh hurdle. Holding on to third. Wolverine there, top point just on his outside in fourth. Back up on the inside is Press Gang in fifth. Then Flowers for Fishy and Huntsville Club. Die another day and Rapunzel will shuffle back a little bit. And the Graver mod. And the Watcher is moved out of the Tal and Charlie position and allowed Pompey King and Glamis to fight for that one as we go past the winning post with one more circuit to go. And it's not a bad lad that's taken a length advantage now as Velvet Curtain takes a bit of a rest. But they've got much closer now. There's chasing back. Mind Solutions within three. And Press Gang and Wolverine and Flowers for Fishy and Huntsville Club. And a length and a half back to. Rapunzel, die another day, the Watcher, Pompey King, Glamis and the Mod. As we watch this, not a bad lad, take them out again, down the back straight. The length advantage from Velvet Curtain, a further length back to Mind Solution, and the length to Press Gang, and the length to Wolverine and Huntsville Club, and Flowers for Fishing, as we're in single file here. And the five at the back, all in line. Everything's got a chance in this, we've come down to the final mile. So it's not a bad lad from Velvet Curtain and Mind Solution, Press Gang and Wolverine and Flowers for Fishy and Huntsville Club, and then followed through by Pompey King and Rapunzel, and Die Another Day, the Graver Mod Glamis, the Watchers drop back into that talent. Charlie position and watch it them all, but it's not a bad lad that run, 
rides into the ninth, gets over it well off the bridle now, and trying to lift the pace from Velvet Curtain in second. Mind Solutions closing the gap, then Press Gang and Wolverine as they go over the tenth. That's four from home, and it's not a bad lad still leads from Velvet Curtain. Mind Solutions are one that's closed the gap to join these leaders. We've just got five furlongs left to run. Press Gang starting to get closer as well. The two Vinnie Gerard horses, Pompey King and Huntsville Club, trying to make up a bit of an improvement as well as Flowers for Fishy on the inside, but not a bad lad's got the advantage here. Leads by a length and a half from Mind Solutions. They go over the three from home with just two to take now and it's not a bad lad from Velvet Curtain Mind Solution here comes Flowers for Fishy on the wide outside is Pompey King Press Gang still trying to pick up wider still is Huntsville Club but not a bad lad he's extending his lead here Velvet Curtain's not got a lot left as they come down to the penultimate it's not a bad lad from Pompey King Velvet Curtain and Mind Solution I don't think anything else is going to get into it Huntsville Club starting to go backwards now with a quarter of a mile left to go it's not a bad lad but here comes Pompey King not a bad lad Pompey King Mind Solution of Velvet Curtain as they go over the penultimate. Between these four, great jump there by Velvet Curtain. Between horses, not a bad lad starting to tie on. It's Pompey King, Velvet King and Mind Solution. Pompey King down to the last, gets over it first from Mind Solution. Mistake by Velvet Curtain. Pompey King and Mind Solution, these two are neck and neck inside the final half. Pompey King, Mind Solution and Mind Solution's got a little bit more. David Robertson starts to put it out of the bag. But fighting back again is Pompey King. Pompey King, Mind Solution just holds off Pompey King with a big advantage of about seven lengths from Velvet Curtain and not a bad lad who had been our leaders throughout. So a good win there for David Robertson. Always turns up at the festivals. Won a few at Cheltenham last week. They're going to take a few here at uh, the Grand National here at Festival Aintree. So Mind Solution takes the Silver Cross Handicap hurdle for David Robertson. Well done. Vinnie Gerrard's Pompey King was good in second. Velvet Curtain for Martinine was third. Not a bad lad for John Morgan was fourth. And die another day for Patrick Hagen. Who then got up for fifth?